Well folks, I mentioned on Facebook at the weekend about finding a motor speed controller for my wash plant for my layout. Uh, anyway I ordered this and it turned up this morning. It consists of a main control unit and they're connected to it with a ribbon cable. You've got this little keypad. The unit itself runs on DC if you can see there it runs between 12 volts and 80 volts so it's perfect for what I want to use it for at the moment I've got two flying leads connected to this class 20 just for testing and the other two cables run to a power supply on the floor right just a quick demonstration if you press menu your first menu setting according to this is the start stop setting so basically you go up and down with these keys really awkward to hold the camera at the same time but hang on there we go if I press that down that goes that way and if I go that way that goes that way these are in seconds <coughs> excuse me so that's 10 seconds and it'll go down to one second the second setting is the slow down speed again you set it between 10 seconds and one second the third setting is the minimum speed, so at the moment this is set to zero. The fourth setting is the maximum speed, which we've got set to 100. The fifth setting, this is how many increments it goes up in. So that's 2%, that's 5%, that's 10%, that's 20 that's 25 and so on. So we've got that set at 1. Right? On the end here we've got a run stop button, so if I press that, the display goes blank and then when I press it it will start you'll hear the motor kick in and then when you press the button again you'll hear it power down this is perfect for or want to use it for on the layout which is to operate the motors for the washer brushes but what you can actually do with it is if you set the thing going you can manually control the speed by pressing the up and down buttons Okay, so you get the hang of that. So we'll switch that off. That's just slowing down again. Really impressed with this bit of kit. It was about 12 and a half quid on eBay, including delivery, so I was really impressed with this. Now if I just swap hands, what I wanted to do with it is on the back of the circuit board you can see these are the buttons. So all I've got to do is if we just short out, you can see that, if I could just short that out. You hear the motor kick in. So switch it off. I just short the two out again. And that's it. So the idea is that take two wires, one from each one of these pins, take them to a reed switch mounted across the track. The loco will then approach the carriage washer, trigger the reed switch, which will switch this control box on that will start the, the motors on the brushes train runs through and then it will trigger another reed switch at the other end which should stop it it will make our life a little bit easier when we take it to a show so just one more just switch it on and knock it off 